I play in five days, right? Today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday. Six days. <laughs> Someone asked, what would you do if you had a recital in seven weeks with about 70% new program? How would you study? What would be your mindset? I talked about this on Instagram or on Twitter. How I wish that there was a lot more hype for going to concerts than there is about practicing. Because for me, I think it's really important to go to concerts, hear how other musicians play. It doesn't matter if you agree with their interpretations or not. It also doesn't matter if you play or don't play those pieces because even going to the opera is very eye-opening or ear-opening for me. And I hear actually direct difference or direct influence. For example, recently I went to Medea at the Met Opera and the morning after I realized that there is a better way to play the second movement of the Beethoven Sonata that I've been working on. Not saying that I have achieved that ideal yet as of today, it's a little bit of a tricky movement for me to really get into, but I was really inspired by the soprano who sang the role of Medea, how emotional she was, even though she is singing music that technically is not super, super emotionally written. It's a lot more classical. And anyway, I was just inspired by Sandra Radvanovsky's performance. Oh, and then about one week no, two weeks actually before concert, I stepped away from the program and just felt like playing something else. It was fun to play Goldberg because when I went back to my actual program, I then found new holes and new ideas. Oh, also, I thought of you, podcast listeners, when this happened. Because I feel like a lot of people emphasize on the amount of time you practice and preparing and how much practice it takes and how many hours it takes and hours and hours and hours. But I will say rest is arguably equally important, if not even more important, because about mm, a week and a half ago, I was quite tired, but I promised myself that I would run through the entire concert program. And so I did it as a way to test my memory and just how comfortable I feel playing the entire recital. On a day when I wasn't feeling super energized and really felt quite tired. And guess what? I had so many memory lapses that have never ever happened. And I literally had hiccups. Like musical hiccups where I would play a phrase and then just kind of stop and kind of feel lost and forget what I was playing or what comes next. Of course, when I tried to run through the entire program again on another day when I felt more rested, I didn't have that many problems. What would be my mindset? Um, well, for me, it's about prioritizing, learning this program, absorbing this program, and doing whatever it takes to absorb it as fast as possible. Not necessarily saying that speed is the goal, but...
example, this goes back to why I talked a few minutes about the delaying of this episode. It's because whenever I thought, okay, I'm going to record this episode now, I would think, hmm, will I then exhaust myself too much so that I wouldn't have enough energy the next day or the next hours to practice? And if the answer is yes, then I would sacrifice whatever it is and save all of my energy for learning the program. Welcome to Classical Chats. Welcome to Classical Chats. I'm Tiffany. Today we have subscribed if you haven't. For now, be kind, keep striving. <sighs> la 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 la. That doesn't necessarily have to just be practice. For example, I would prioritize even socializing and getting new ideas and going to opera or to concerts for inspiration. I would prioritize that over something else, like recording this episode or actually other things like doing laundry. Oh wow, look green. <laughs> huh? Move slower. 